receptionist in any business office knows the importance of individual ability. Every day she meets all types of salesmen. She has learned which ones get in to see the boss. Now here are two sale competitive products. The man on the left looks successful. Actually, he sells just enough to meet expenses. But this man leads his entire organization in sales, and not because of his appearance. The receptionist knows their past records, as does the man who signs the contracts. And so, one gets the nod while the other cools his heels, for there's no substitute for real ability. Both of these advertising copywriters look efficient. No one in the office can push a pencil through more words per minute than Joe. But a lot of his copy has to be toned down before it reaches the printed page. Joe's paychecks are not very large. Charlie has a conscience. The statements he makes can be verified. His words are fewer, but they mean far more. Charlie writes national sales campaigns, proving again there's no substitute for ability. This basic truth is demonstrated daily in Hollywood, for nowhere is competition keener. In the heart of the film capital near Columbia Square are the studios of the Jerry Fairbanks Productions. For many years, this organization has produced pictures for Paramount release, well known to millions throughout the world. studios provide complete facilities for production of these Paramount series, which consistently win top rating. On large soundproof stages and in extensive workshops, carpenters, painters, and electricians, all with many years of Hollywood experience, construct sets designed by the studio experts. Here, plans for better living created by America's leaders in science and industry are translated by the art director and production staff into settings for our motion pictures, which give them worldwide publicity. Such cooperation through the years with officials of many national concerns has given studio personnel understanding of industrial requirements. It is only natural that in the past, recognizing this ability and showmanship, Many organizations have commissioned Jerry Fairbanks to produce special pictures for their use. To meet the increased demand for such films, studio facilities have been expanded and a special industrial picture division created. In every production detail, the highest standard is maintained by the same craftsmen who work on the entertainment films. This is the imposing skyline you saw through the office windows in the opening scene a metropolis built to order in the workshops. All studio facilities are now available for industrials. Stages, camera and lighting equipment, workshops and laboratories. The sound insulated stages accommodate several large sets at one time. Years of experience making films in color with cameras and lights of highest professional quality assures photographic excellence. An industrial picture should reflect the quality of its sponsor's products. It can be fully effective only when created by specialized talents and skills in all its phases. These actual production scenes during the filming of a modern kitchen for the popular science series illustrate the studio's well-coordinated teamwork. This film starlet is demonstrating new kitchen equipment, such as a preset table that slides out from the cabinet. Another sequence is photographed with a camera dolly. Careful there. Well, how do you like that? Bouncing tumblers. Staged in dramatic or humorous fashion, scenes like this introduce new products of all kinds to the public and strongly influence purchasing trends. Showmanship makes information entertaining.
before sets are designed and built, our story department, aided by research experts, visualizes the complete shooting script by means of a storyboard. Sketches of all key scenes are mounted in sequence, providing a preview of the actual production. This method greatly aids continuity and reduces production time and expense. The rough sketches indicating scenes to be filmed are particularly valuable in photographing industrial plants. In this way, all action can be plotted before arrival of the camera unit and work interference is minimized. The storyboard technique is an infallible guide to a successful picture. Using a film viewer, the head animator studies the results of giving human voices to live animals, a miraculous achievement made possible by our duoplane process. These drawings are based on scientific study of mouth shapes during articulation of syllables. A large staff of assistants complete the process, which is one of Hollywood's most closely guarded secrets. No form of animation is more difficult, and our specialists are thoroughly familiar with all types required in commercial films. Whether simple line animation, cartoon figure animation, or the combination of live action and animation like this included in a film made for Union Pacific, which shows proper methods of loading procedure in freight cars. This type can be very effective in commercial production. Before any script is begun, there must be thorough research. To guarantee comprehensive world coverage, the research staff reads hundreds of magazines and newspapers each month selecting possible subject material. Many additional sources of information are used. Approved story locations are indicated on large maps for the various mobile camera units. Completely equipped cars move steadily about the entire country, as well as Canada. Literally hundreds of scientific and industrial stories everywhere have been photographed by our staff experts who also film our commercial pictures. Few studios have such complete national coverage. But our activities cover all parts of the world. One of our camera units has been filming subjects in Mexico and South America for two years. Stories like this, The Divers of Acapulco. Other units photograph outstanding subjects in Africa and Europe. One is now working in Sweden, and from the Swiss Alps come these scenes. From the continent of Asia to the islands of the South Seas, all provide colorful stories for our international audience. Professional movie making requires ample electricity and other facilities. Even in America, these are not always available. So trucks and portable generators were especially designed and built for us to film stories anywhere. The sedan-like cab carries five. There's a completely equipped dark room and adequate space for cameras and lights, plentifully supplied by the trailing generator. With such complete mobile equipment, industrial installations of all kinds can be suitably filmed anywhere. staff cameraman is well known for his achievements. During the world conflict, we worked closely with the armed forces, showing the public important developments in the science of warfare. Armadas of invasion aircraft, mass parachute descents, the nation's strength on all fronts, shown in our Paramount films, helped civilian morale. Only the most highly skilled photographers could portray the full drama and significance of scientific battle. Cameramen brought to the screen the whole story of science at war. Filming actors for the Speaking of Animals series requires much ingenuity. Even heavies become temperamental, and the cameraman must practice animal psychology. For many years, Jerry Fairbanks has flown his own planes, doing aerial photography and supervising studio crews out on location.
After a short flight from Hollywood, his plane lands in Sun Valley, Idaho, where he is greeted by members of a crew beginning work. By flying to such locations, he can coordinate personal supervision with a minimum waste of time. One of the production staff reports on progress being made. Together, they survey the locale. Sun Valley Lodge has a mirage-like quality with its rustic buildings and pool fed by warm springs used all the year round. A fabulous place indeed is this mountain hideaway. But this sounds like copy for the Union Pacific picture we made here. It was not an unpleasant assignment filming Sun Valley's wonders. So with production well underway, the plane heads back to Hollywood with the first reels of film. From our cameramen everywhere to our cutting rooms come thousands of feet of exposed negative. Here, the film editor and his assistants select the best shots and arrange them in the most effective sequence. This is vitally important work and every modern device is provided to aid efficiency. With a viewer, the film editor carefully studies every foot of print. He is responsible for the perfect synchronization of pictures with sound. Sound effects from an extensive library are used in dubbing both Paramount and industrial pictures. The cutting rooms are also completely equipped to handle 16 millimeter films and the same highly skilled personnel edit both types. After all scenes of a new motion picture have been filmed, edited and arranged in correct order, the narration is written to fit the action on the screen. It happens that this girl is modeling an all-glass bathing suit for a popular science sequence on fiberglass. Although in this case, the writer might prefer to do his own research, he is aided by the staff, which compiles all the necessary information. Confucius certainly was right. Such a picture is worth at least 10,000 words. Nothing adds greater effectiveness to a film than an outstanding musical score. Eddie Paul, famous conductor of radio and screen and formerly musical director of the Paramount and Roxy Theaters on Broadway, arranges all our music. Winner of an Academy Award, his scoring adds distinction to our industrial film productions. One of our staff narrators is Gane Whitman, nationally known radio commentator. First of the giant transports to be built and tested for the global airlines of a world at peace is this Stratocruiser. It's the Boeing B-29, transformed for the air age. Out through the gate of the air terminal moves a throng of passengers to the gleaming Skyliner. With such mammoth planes as this, any place on Earth is but a few flying hours away. On the upper deck, for it has two, are rows of luxurious chairs, quite different from the bomb-laden superports. By day, it seats 100. As a sleeper plane, it contains 36 berths. Familiar to all radio fans is Ken Carpenter, another of our staff narrators. Usual triumphs, even when it's all wet. Here, watercolors are really crayons. Scientists are really artists. Fishes are caught without hooks. And the study of biology is advanced by the unusual occupation of these underwater members of Miami University's unusual classroom. Specially designed microscopic equipment extends our facilities into the unseen world as well. For example, here are shown scenes of the living blood stream, excerpts from a medical film which brought the red and white corpuscles to the screen for the first time in color. another popular science subject made possible by specialized equipment. On crusts of bread, a special mold is cultivated as delayed action photography dramatizes the growth of the wonder germ destroyer, penicillin. A subject which aroused national interest was presented through our development of the motion picture X-ray camera. This device, perfected co-jointly with the X-ray division of General Electric, permits thorough analysis of all body mechanisms in action. The simple act of drinking discloses an amazing performance as the epiglottis directs traffic. Our 
functioning bodies are now as open books for science to peruse, though seldom so nicely bound. From the advancement of science to the creation of public entertainment films, our efforts have been awarded the highest. Oblivious to the bovine serenade, this delectable creature slumbers on. But equally strange events will transpire here. The comforter suddenly loses its cover to reveal a lining of fiberglass, part of a sequence on this outstanding new product of science and industry. to get up and show the public the advantages of fiberglass home furnishings in an informal, entertaining fashion without an obvious selling approach. This studio set includes numerous examples such as the curtains and drapes, all made of fiberglass. With adroit direction, even bachelors become interested in the subject. It's a little early for a man to call about a date, but with a gal like this, time's a-wasting. And with big plans ahead, naturally, the cigarette is forgotten. Oh, fine, a perfect combination. Dream on, little girl. We know you'll be busy soon. Meanwhile, in the adjoining room, this energetic blonde already is hard at it, ironing her pretties. And she's doing the job scientifically with a paper and an ironing board of fiberglass. In the complete sequence, two major advantages of the material are stressed. It can be used in many ways, and it is fireproof. So back to the waste paper basket, now well ablaze. What a roommate, fiddling around while home burns. Well, obviously there's only one thing to do. The fireproof apron smothers the fire in no time. Wallpaper is badly scorched, but the fiberglass drape is good as ever. This demonstration is certainly worth 10,000 words in creating demand for the product. And no other studio regularly produces a series of entertainment pictures devoted to such progress of science and industry. In commercial films, we often use celebrities of radio and screen, easily available because of our Hollywood location. You know, when it comes to what's generally known as cultivating, now we got our own simple methods of doing that. We managed to do it without using a hole. Well, time to do a little cultivating there, hobo. Doggone, I have to do all the work around here. During the war, our motion pictures produced for manufacturers of vital materiel gave dramatic proof of America's industrial power. Machines for peacetime production became part of a mighty arsenal, building cannon for our rapidly expanding navy. Spectacular in war or peace are the complex operations of a giant factory, but the lighting problems in filming them are enormous, especially with color. Hundreds of operations must be shown under widely varying conditions and all skillfully edited to provide a coherent and interest-holding film. Quarter-mile-long buildings like this had to be adequately lighted, requiring more equipment than the largest Hollywood sets. Only a studio with complete equipment could photograph such a plant. Fabrication of all component parts, such as this gun mount, was shown to prove the high quality of American armament. Above the assembly line, crowded with massive instruments of war, moves the camera, filming a record of industry's achievement. Just as microscopic photography demonstrated that no subject is too small for our production, this scene dramatically indicates that none is too large. After final assembly, the cannon must undergo rigorous tests before acceptance by the Navy. Tests that reveal the slightest imperfection. Each is the result of the coordinated efforts of thousands, so that those who built them could see the entire process of fabrication and take added pride in their individual contributions, this motion picture was made. And seeing their products perform in actual combat boosted morale even more.
To add authenticity, it is sometimes possible to incorporate factual footage such as in the following sequence, wherein actual Navy combat film is combined with scenes of our own staging. The smoke of bursting firing shells which fall into the sea. Got him. distance, the Jet Zero is bracketed by our bursting 5-inch shell. Got him. Finally, our guns were silent. During the conflict, industrialists learned the value of training and public relations films. Today, commercial pictures can perform equally valuable services. But to be fully effective, an industrial film must be produced by experts with professional studio equipment. There's no substitute for ability. The best guarantee of a picture's success is the producer's record. Outstanding industrial films in many fields. Industry. Science. Agriculture. Travel. transportation. Now that you have had a chance of visiting us backstage, we hope we have been successful in proving our title, One Picture is Worth 10,000 Words, especially when your picture is made by the Jerry Fairbanks Organization. <laughs>